Uh, let's go to the Nigeria Professional uh, Football League. Match day 15. Some interesting results. Some caught us by surprise. Some um, Aqua United. I don't know what happened. Maybe Toby let's with Aqua. Maybe Start Toby with Heartland with and Aimba. Aimba Heartland is really not Aimba. looking good right now. The uh, Nazi Millionaires mm. went to Aba, mm -hmm. defeated uh, Aimba, the Aba elephants. Uh, Rivers United uh, beat Lobby Stars 2-1. Sunshine Stars uh, beat Blatty United 2-1. Aqua United lost to Quara United. Cecilia says it's because it's United United. Worry Wolves lost at home to Rangers. Uh, are they back? We'll see. Uh, some of the results um, on match day uh, 15. Uh, there you have it. Casino United uh, played the one or draw with Cano Pillars. MFM right here in Lagos. Toby saw the game. 2-1 uh, victory over uh, Jigawa Golden Stars. You have uh, Habia Warriors uh, beating uh, FC Fan Yuba 2-1. Adamawa United played a goalless draw uh, with Wiki uh, Torres. Those are the games. Toby, quickly, in a minute or two, we're going to come back to the game in Lagos because you saw that game. But your thoughts on uh, the results. Did anyone come to you as a surprise? Yeah, really, a lot, a lot. I mean, it was a very big midweek. Um, yeah, Atlanta could fight, but I never thought they could go three points. That's I was thinking about Imba momentum. I mean, um, at the weekend on the continent, uh, I mean, new coach, new vibes, mm -hmm. new spirit, mm -hmm. scoring for They home. Massive. They didn't travel. So, I mean, like, they, they what happened? For Atlan, who, who had a very mixed, you know, season. Mm -hmm. they've, they've not been excellent. Up and down. They, they, have, they have not been very consistent. But, I mean, but a lot of factors played in. For example, now, Fidel is the coach of Atlan. Um, this is, uh, he hasn't lost, he, um, he has been unbeaten against Oshofa Tai. You know, this is a start account. You know, when it was, they were both at MFM and Red Monsters, you know, he defeated Oshofa Tai, both home and away. It happened. Fidelis have also been impressive in the Oriental Debbies. At least there's a third one, and yeah. he has got my point from possible nine. So, I mean, this, these are all things that really, maybe it really work for their motivation for, for the Atlant side. Maybe also, Iimba uh, disrespected Atlant. Yeah, I think confidence. so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it, it's, lot, possible. But, but it's possible. It's, it's really, really a Big, 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 big shock. Because and, the goals were I mean, early. You were thinking they were going to come back. They scored two goals um, in the first half. Yeah. Very, very early. Goal. I mean, they scored the first goal in the 30 minute. And I thought Iimba would come we'll back. Come back. I mean, I I, I, no, no one saw that coming. But it, it's, it's good for the league. It's, it's really good for Heartland. I mean, this has really pushed them into the top 10. And I think they might just, maybe the consistency might just start from here. Uh, Aqua United, um, I think I was, I was surprised also. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really surprised. I think. But coincidentally, the last time they lost at home was in January in 2019, also mm -hmm. to Ekanemi. I think that was about January 13, yeah. January 15 yesterday. So maybe they were in the same place twice. <laughs> yeah, okay. And for, for Cry United, you know, we know this, the, 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 the transfer from Delta Force to Cry Yeah, United. the transition. Yeah. I mean, they the last three, four games, they've mm -hmm. really been consistent. I mean, three victories in four. Before this one, that is four games in five. I mean, really solid performance. I never, I never thought they would get that one. I mean, Aqua United has been in brilliant form mm -hmm. since Boboye took over. They had most points since Boboye took mm -hmm. over. Six games. In about six to seven games, solid performance, getting point home and away. I mean, I never saw that. Sixteen coming. points it's, from it's, eighteen. It's, it's, it's really good for Cry United. The performance was very, very, very solid. And I think um, good one for for Salisu Yusuf also. I mean, Rangers. It has really been terrible for him. Um, in ten games in all competition, he's managed just two win before yesterday game. So a really, really good for them to to, to get a maximum three point against for They really fought at Kevin Itoya. You know, part of the goals. And I think um, this might just be one game. Um, Salisu needs to really, you know, uh, kickstart a redemption with Rangers because, I mean, they are really, really redemption. deep into relegation problems here. Yeah, very deep. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's talk about the game that happened at home. Uh, maybe we yeah. just see the league table quickly if we can. Before we talk about the game? Uh, before okay. we talk about Let's look at the league table so that everything to be said will be able to put it uh, in perspective. Let's see if we can quickly uh, do that. Rangers at the very bottom. Uh, that, that gave They've us... They've left that. <laughs> that game uh, has pushed them up yeah, yeah. <laughs> 18. Uh, Lobby Stars retained their spot, uh, definitely losing their game. But Plateau United, second back-to-back -back loss, yep. and they're in the top position. I mean, uh, look at Rivers. I mean, it, 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 honestly, Stars. a lot of people are not really putting their eyes on, on, on Lobby Stars, especially for Plateau United. I'm really scared for Plateau United. It might really be difficult to, to take the top spot, looking very difficult. I mean, the performance a bit has really dropped um, uh, from, from my start. I mean, just one win in five games. Yes. And... I mean, it's not really good. Not really good for them. And the fact that, you know, Dobby Stars had a game at and they were playing Dobby Stars at home. If they get a point, that would be about five-point gap between them. And with Dobby Stars in great form right now, they've been solid, um, I think, about three, four wins in the last five games also. So it might really be difficult for Abdul Maika. But they started well, scoring goals. I mean, there was yeah. a time they scored five goals at five home. There was goals, a time yes. they scored three goals away beating from Beating everybody. Home. Beating everyone. But Dobby Stars really staying on top. 
of the lock would be difficult for anyone to drag them back. You know, I, I think um, it might be a very long week set uh, that we'll stay on that. All right, it's looking like okay. The game in Lagos, look at your boys, all three points. But then the story was all about Joshua Akuje. Yeah, he scored an own goal and he scored two. He scored a hat trick yep. in the match. Yes, a hat trick. That's what he got. <laughs> of then, some of some sort. <laughs> Unfortunately, one was against his own side and the other two on the opposition box. So that's a good one for him. MFM, you know, being able to come from a go down to beat Jigawa Golden Stars 2-1 at the Agegi Stadium. I mean, um, everyone thought it's going to be very easy for MFM. Maybe I also felt that um, both teams travel for a very long distance. Yeah. MFM traveled the way in Makodi. Jigawa to travel from Kano. It's so like long distance. Hours. Maybe Fatigan. I mean, MFM started slowly. I think the last two games I've watched at some season, they usually start slowly. slowly. But I never thought Jigawa, Jigawa were very good in the last opening 15 minutes. Very solid. Pressure was on them. Reason why, you know, Joshua did the own goal. But I mean, uh, like I said, Joshua was a hero of, 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 of the day for the match, even for the entire match day. I mean, he scored his first MFM goal when he equalized, and it was a very big day for him. <laughs> you know, he scored the winner also. You know, a very good head, a bullet shot. I mean, for 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 a man who scored an own goal, for you to bounce back, yeah, the mm -hmm. it shows the presence of mind, big, big, big spirit in him. I know him very, very young lad, part of him that 23 team at some point. Got a lot of prospects, quality defender, very, very committed, passionate about his job, and really excited for him. It's good to, to, to start scoring for MFM in such you know, a beautiful way. <laughs> Remarkable way for him. But at the end of the day, his team, they were able to win. Let's get reactions from that game now, starting with the coach of MFM, what he had to say concerning the game. And of course, the fact that they had to travel a long distance affected their uh, starting slow in the game. It was not an easy game, actually. We had a very slow start, but we had to steady the ship to make sure we'll be able to come back. Considering the, the, how young the team is, you know, last season we, we lost like a team, uh, eight players in the league. and in the, uh, in the league. Now we're using young players that need to come up a little bit. Because of the journey we passed through, we, we did a 17 hours journey to Makodi. Coming back again, it was a little bit stressful. But... We give glory to God, we are able to come back. I'm not worried because actually I know the team is going to... It's, we, 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 the team develops with every single game we play. We come up with every single game. And gradually, before the turn of the, the first round, we'll be able to, be, to steady the game. <laughs> Steady, that's what is important. Yep. Get all three points at home. But for Joshua, what does he have to say after scoring the hero of the three game. goals <laughs> in one game? All right. Let's hear from him. Yeah, man, I'm very happy because that's been the game we have been preparing for, to like work hard for. Although the game was easy and not that easy to hold because we take the game that easy, but we'll give it to that. I scored against my team, so I was like, yeah, I speak to God, I God should help me so I can help my team out. Although I tried to score to, to apologize to the fans, apologize to my team. Yeah, I was down a little bit, but I think my mommy always tell me, when you want to be the best, you have to be the best. So I bring myself up to like cheer up to like to come back to the game. Yeah, it has been a tough journey so far. Like like I said, my second season in MFM, this is my happiest season playing for MFM. So I, I believe we can still do more and we will believe in ourselves. We'll keep on working and we'll get to the top. Yeah, we are going to Wiki Tow. It's, it's going to be a tough game for us, but with the love in our team, we'll come back to training tomorrow and we'll keep on working out with the coach and we'll give him the kudos. It's our job <laughs> easy. Okay, I love the fact that he says anytime something goes wrong, you need to like try as much as possible to get back from it. Yeah, and very that's important. What worked for him. It, it, uh, I think it, it did something yesterday when when he equalized, he went back to the fans and said, "Please, yeah. I'm he sorry." Apologized. I mean, that was that was very good. <laughs> I, I'm really happy for him. I mean, when when he scored the own goal yesterday, but I saw the spirit in him. You know, sometimes you made a mistake and you, and you felt, "Can I come back?" But immediately he scored the own goal. He was he was really motivated. Yeah. I mean, and that that's very very good to see from this young lad. Um, Pick, he will pick this one and it will get better. He's a very, very solid guy. One feature, one, one great guy in the MPF and I, I really respect him. But like I said, just two seasons yeah. and it's really, yeah. really doing well. Uh, MFM is a team that you've seen a lot quickly. How far do you think they can go this season? I, I mean, MFM have always been an average team. For every manager that will come there, you need to put a lot of hard work into mm -hmm. it because in Lagos, I mean, there's, 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 a lot of, there's a lot of high, there's a lot of media balls, you know, in Lagos. So, I mean... You don't get those those advantages. Okay. I mean, you have to put a lot of a lot of hard work. And I mean, kudos to Bulus and and Yema. Fidel, Fidel is left. Fidel was there for for almost a decade. He left a very big vacuum. About eight to ten players left. It wasn't easy for them to bring this young lad together. And I think they've really done well.